Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I will show you the game between Rafael, Liatau and Fabiano Caruana. This game was played in Kanti Mansiski in 2010. Kanti Mansiski is a city in Russia. Rafael Liatau had white pieces and he started with d4. Caruana played knight to f6, c4, g6, knight to f3, bishop to g7, g3, and Caruana played d5, Grunfeld, defense. C takes on d5, knight takes on d5, bishop to g2, knight to b6, knight to c3, knight to c6, e3, Caruana castled kingside and Liotau castled kingside too. Rook to e8, and Liotau played rook to e1. I would like to show you this continuation. d5. If d5 is played, then black can play knight to a5. If bishop takes on c3, white doesn't have to take the bishop, he can take the knight on c6. Then bishop goes to g7, and knight to d4 will be played. Let's go back to our game. In the game, instead of d5, we have a rook to e1, a5, queen to e2, and back to this d5 move now. It doesn't work, because after d5, bishop takes on c3, attacking the rook. And after pawn takes on c3, queen takes on d5. In the game we have queen to e2 making the room for the rook on d1. Bishop to e6, rook to d1. Bishop to c4 attacking the queen. Queen to c2. Knight to b4 attacking the queen again. Queen to b1, e5. Pawn is pinned. If d takes on e5, then can you see the move? Then bishop to d3. Attacking the queen. After rook takes, the queen takes and black is better. In the game we have a3 attacking the knight on b4. Pawn takes pawn on d4. Pawn takes knight. It is black to move. This is the most critical position of the game. What would you do? Please pause the video and try to find the best move for black. Are you ready? What did you find? Perhaps pawn takes pawn comes to mind. What do you think? Then rook takes rook, and after queen takes rook, knight to e4, white is better. White has a piece for two pawns. So how should black continue? Caruana captured the knight on c3. Would you play this too? This is kind of a move that Mikhail Tal would play. Well, white happily captured the queen. Rook from a takes on d8. Queen to c2. a takes on b4. White to move. White has to be very careful now. Surely white considered pawn takes pawn. Then b3 attacking the queen. After queen to b2, rook to d1. And after bishop to f1, rook takes bishop check. Black is better. So white had a problem which had to be solved. And he solved the problem with knight to d2. 
Pawn takes knight. Bishop takes pawn. Rook to a8. Rook takes rook. Rook takes rook. Bishop takes pawn on b7 attacking the rook. Rook to a1 check. Bishop to c1. b3 attacking the queen. Queen to d1. It is black to move. Black play the move and white resigned. What is the move? Caruana captured the pawn on b2 with bishop. Letao resigned. One line goes like this. King to g2. Then rook takes bishop attacking the queen. Queen to d2. Perhaps bishop to f1 check. King to f3. Knight to c4 attacking the queen. Queen to d8 check. King to g7. Perhaps bishop to e4. Bishop to f6. Note that black has dangerous pass pawn on b file. And white has a problem. For example, queen to d5. Then one of the moves is c6. And white queen is trapped. Unbelievable. What do you think of this game? What do you think of Caruana's queen sacrifice? in this position. Is this something that you would play too? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.